Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk about my Tamiya TTO2. I'm getting ready to uh, prep this for club racing. So I wanted to show you what I'm going to be doing uh, with the chassis here. And first off, I want to give credit to two blogs that I found that has uh, extensive uh, explanation and setup tips on what I'm about to do here. Um, the first one is the race the rcracer.com and the second one is toby's rc adventure so now I'll put those links below so you guys can check out those uh blogs as well and see where where i got these parts from and why i made the decision to uh to get these parts um first off let's talk a little bit about the uh, tto2 that i do have it is a tto2 rr uh, let's see if i can get the body off so the rr version does have already comes with some upgrades and let me point out what came with the kit it does have a hardened uh, tub chassis it has uh adjustable a uh, camera adjustments on the upper arms front and back it does have the aluminum shaft i haven't taken this apart in a while but i believe it also has the high speed uh, gear set already and there's just some wherever you see blue aluminum they were basically upgrade parts these orange shocks are actually yeah racing and i've i actually just put these on uh last week and i have a couple posts on my instagram showing that so these did not come with the chassis these are upgrades um and these are just protoform wheels that i put on for bashing now the tto rr TTO2 RR version of the of the kit doesn't come with uh, didn't come with uh, the ESC and the motor. It did come and I did put in a torque tune to me a torque tune motor brush motor with a 1060 ESC. I've since taken those out to start this project. Um, we are going one of the things we are going to do is going brushless, um, and I'll talk about that. But first, I want to get into the parts. What I'm going to be doing to it and I'm going to go ahead and start with some of the Tamiya parts. And I, when it, when, if you do go brushless, it is recommended that you, the first thing you do is get these two parts right here. Um, if you have the first, <clears throat> if, if you have the regular TTO2 or any other trim that doesn't already have this, um, this is part number 54500, the TTO2 high speed gear set with the 68 tooth spur gear. Um, this is what you need. It, it's a spur gear holder and it allows you to change spur gears <clears throat> in the TTO2. Now, instead of using this 68, you would want to go ahead and buy the 64 along with a 29 tooth pinion gear. And that would actually give you the final drive ratio of 5.738. And that's what's recommended. Um, and I think actually, that's actually spec for a 17.5 brushless system. So let me uh, put those to the side. Already talked about those. <clears throat> and for other performance and handling um, upgrades, I'm going to start with the, I'm going to put the universal uh, shaft in the front, in the front here. And you could also do it to the back, but I decided to only do it to the front. Um, the Tamiya arms have a suspension ball. It's a plastic sus suspension ball at the uh, at the lower arm in front and back. And I went ahead and and bought these uh, low friction suspension balls. Part number is five four five five nine. The part number for the uh, Universal shaft is 53792 in case you didn't catch that. And to get a wider stance at the wheels for this car, I'm going to go ahead and change out the wheel hubs so that they're six millimeters thick. And the part number for this is 53569. Now, this was a little bit pricey. To me, as hop ups are always a little bit pricey. I think you can get this uh, from another. 
from an OEM brand or other brands that are going to be uh, much more affordable than this. But this is all my hobby shop had, and I really wanted to get this project started this weekend. And I'm going to change out the bearings. There are already bearings in here, um, but I don't. Yeah, I've been using this car for bashing for about a year, and I don't know how dirty they're going to be. So instead of cleaning them, I'm just going to recover them and clean them up for another project. But since I'm taking this for racing, I want to have new bearings in there. Now, if 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 you had the means, I think uh, ceramic bearings would be and kind of your best option for this. But you know, for I didn't want to spend another seventy dollars for a set of ceramic bearings. Um, even though, if I do get into uh, on road racing uh, above the club level, look take a little bit more serious. I I may invest in that. But I may also invest in a new chassis by then. I may go with a TAO 07 or, or an X-Ray or anything else. Um, it might be different. But so far, it's been interesting. And I'm just going to stick with uh, these uh, value options for now. This particular one is from DSM Off-Road. And they have these bearings kits that are already uh, assembled for you. You don't have to figure out how many five by 11 by fours in there. They already have that. They already read the manual. They already uh, counted how many bearings you will need for each size. And they put these in a convenient package for you. I believe these are, they're under $20 for sure. I think they're around $14, $15. So look for these, these are great. Um, throughout the chassis now, and I don't think it's the fault of Tamiya is just just the build tolerance for this for 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 these kits in general. There is some slop um, here. There's upper arm here. There's some slop. There's some slop at the wheels. Um, when the hub and I want and for racing you really want to get rid of as much slop as you can without without any binding. So I went out and bought several sizes of shims. Um, I believe this car has three sizes, three diameter uh, shafts that need to be shimmed. Uh, I have the three millimeter here, five millimeter, and the eight millimeter. And they don't have to be Kyosho, they can be any brand, but I do suggest that you get different thicknesses, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 millimeter. I think there's a three back there as well. Um, get whatever is available. Uh, in your area, but you would you would really need these if you want to tune your car. Um, here's some parts that I have from Yeah Racing. The stock servo saver isn't terrific. Uh, there is a Tamiya a hop up servo saver for this kit uh, for TTO twos, but I chose not to go with that route um, again because it's a little bit pricey. Um, I decided to go with the Yeah Racing um, servo saver, and it has I think two or three springs in here. And I've read reviews where this is this is a pretty good part. The part number is YA zero five five seven BK, and I think it comes in blue or I think red as well. And if you, in case you want to match all your hardware, which I don't really care for. Um, and I just wanted to have a sleeker look. I mean, these are great. These blue uh, anodized aluminum wheel nuts are great, but for for my for my liking, I really want to uh, kind of sleek out the look and go all black. And these are they're the same uh, thickness. If you if I might go with if I since I'm going with a deeper hub, with a thicker hub, I may not be able to get these on. These are the same size. I may have to go with some TLR um, low profile nuts um, after I mount everything and see how it works out. Uh, let's talk about the electronics now. Uh, let's see what I have here. This is a hobby wing. Uh, 
chest stock fixed timing 17.5 and what you see here is a aluminum motor mount uh, if you get the TTO2 RR and perhaps one of the other higher trim uh, chassis, uh, kits this already comes with it if it doesn't if you have a plastic one and my other T like the one in my other TTO02 you would have to buy this this is a recommended hop up part if you want to go brushless you will need this um, it's not terribly expensive and this is something that you would definitely need I have found that in the past that uh, I don't know if it's because of the body construction the body I chose is the Raikiri body the motor gets pretty hot when I had the torque tune and I would imagine maybe it was a shroud I don't really know what it is so instead of running the motor shroud I decided to uh, run a heat sink with a uh, with the fan instead and actually I'm gonna swap that plastic fan out with a ProTech uh, fan so I have that ready to go and powering the motor I'm just going with a just XR hobby wing XR10 just stock zero timing ESC and this electronic setup I actually had in my uh, a race buggy before this when I was running uh, when I was racing in in in, uh, in buggies I've got interested in uh, in in on-road racing the track for on-road racing is a lot closer to where I live and I just really got the bug for on-road racing lately and I wanted to give it a try and the servo is nothing exciting uh, so you can find any any low profile uh, servo that you can find that you that you can afford. Um, you would typically for on road racing, I, I suggest especially for this chassis, you want to go with a low profile. This is after you put in everything, it's it's pretty tight space. You're gonna have to cut the wires pretty short, and if you did a full size servo which is you could you can pull it off i had a full-size servo in there before um you would just put the receiver on top of the uh servo i might still have to do that but i i like this this is uh i got this on amazon as a jx 449 mg i'm actually waiting for another one to come in but this will this will do the job for now i believe this was this is under 20 dollars as well um, and I'm going to take this servo horn off as, as well, of course. And receiver, I have a, uh, a Sanwa MX-6, and this is just the uh, receiver RX391W. Use whatever receiver um, that you have. And I have some heat shrink tube here to make all the wiring neat. What else do I have here? Yeah, another decision that was made for me that I don't have to worry about. Uh, the tires that I recommend us for this track are the Sweep EXP Evo R. So that decision was already made. I don't have to worry about it. Another great thing is you don't have to, I didn't have to worry about what wheels to use because these came already with the Reedy dish. So check your track, see what they recommend. Um, Ask your track owner. That's probably the easiest way to make some of these decisions. He told me everything. He told me, uh, uh, he helped me out. He told me what, how to set the, the diffs, how to set the shocks. And if you ask, you'd be surprised. They'd probably tell you. So these are the wheels. I'm going to rebuild these shocks. When I built them, I really had no point of reference. I was just kind of excited to get get the shocks and I put them together with uh, three hole pistons and whatever shock fluid came with the shocks so after speaking with the track owner he recommends two hole pistons and going with a 45 weight uh, shock fluid and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, be rebuilding those shocks and the diffs diffs are very interesting um, TTO, TTO2RR has sealed diffs so in the rear um he recommended going with the 3000 
weight diff fluid and that's what I have here and for the front he actually recommended doing something to tighten the front the front uh, front diff and there is a Tamiya part that would actually completely lock the front um, and that's that's useful for if you wanted to con convert the TTO2 into a drift car um, what he recommended was actually using diff putty and this is I don't think this is specifically meant for diff putty I think there's a diff putty if you look hard enough and get it from Japan there's actually a specific a specific uh, diff putty but this is essentially the same thing um, it's it's kind of a clay substance it's very it's malleable but it's 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 pretty tough it's not like slimy or anything and what you would do is take a uh, small maybe dime sized ball and st stuff it into the into the front diff and what that does is actually makes it incredibly difficult to uh, activate the diff and make it so that you essentially have a locked front diff unless there's quite a bit of torque put on put on one wheel or the other it's not gonna it's not gonna move um, let me put that aside there's another yeah racing part this is just a cleaning container I'm gonna have to rebuild the diffs obviously so I'm gonna take them apart put all the gears in there and clean them up with nitro fluid and that's what's recommended so that's what I have in front of me and lastly I have here this is just um, some lubrication oil with a very fine point needle in the front and this would be helpful for getting into the bearings um, you know before you install them keep putting them putting a little dab of oil in there and just make sure they're free and low friction and there's actually one more part that I ordered um, the only place that I could find it was in Japan um, and they're currently not shipping uh, right now so I actually got my order canceled I'm gonna have to wait till my local hobby shop gets the part and that is the entire um, steering setup here steering assembly here is the steering arms and also this bridge here it's gonna be it's a Tamiya hop apart it's blue aluminum and it's just gonna make the steering a little bit better so what I plan on doing is making this a multi-part series I'm going to be showing um, when I rebuild the shock that's probably going to be one video when I rebuild the disc it's going to be another video when I install the electronics um, any other any other grouped um, components when I swap it out anything I do I'm going to make it into an individual video so that you know we can you know do this together and hopefully it's going to be an interesting series of uh, an interesting series that we can watch together and learn something together um, but of that if there's anything you'd like to see me talk about in the next one or anything in the future any other hop-ups that you would recommend I would love to hear about it please leave it in the uh, comment section below and if you haven't already Please subscribe, like this video, share it, um, and I hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.